with the members of the Warriors 1975 championship team being celebrated during this, the 40th anniversary of the title, we recently spent some time with Jamal Wilkes and talked with him about the similarities he sees between the championship team he played on and this season's Warriors squad. You know, anytime you're fortunate to be on a winning team and a championship team, there's some special qualities. One similarity I see to our team in 1975 um, Coach Kerr plays 10 players, which Coach Adels did. And different guys can contribute in different ways. And it's remarkable how that feeds on itself. And guys look forward to getting those minutes. And, and you know, whoever's performing stays in the game, finishes the game. Uh, that 75 team had a great superstar in Rick Barry. I think we're seeing Steph Curry, uh, you know, developing along those same lines. And, and great players around him, but uh, you know when when push comes to shove, uh, Steph can you know carry the team when needed, and and you know of course Clay and, uh, and you know it's remarkable to I me. Mean, David Lee is coming off the bench. I mean he's not complaining, and 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 uh, he's open and willing to contribute however he can, and so it's when. Uh, Coach Kerr has done a remarkable job of getting everybody to buy into the team concept. And when you win, it solves a lot of problems. Um, and uh, I think the coaching staff has done a remarkable job. At the end of his playing career, he began to explore a new passion, writing. I actually started uh, dabbling in it in the late 80s. I, I retired in 85. and. Um, I had a young family and I was trying to figure out my next move and so I, I really couldn't focus on it. But over the years, a lot of fans would ask me the same questions, you know, uh, and that said to me that they were interested in certain things. You know, how did you develop the jump shot? What was it like playing for Coach Wood? And, you know, what was it like playing for Al Adels with Rick Barry, with Kareem Magic, so forth and so on. And so uh, I picked it up again and uh, as I got into it and the momentum happened, I started to enjoy the process. Which inevitably led to writing a new book just released, chronicling the stories of his life. It's called uh, Jamal Wilkes' Memoirs of the Original Smooth as Silk. And it's, uh, uh, I, I think basketball fans out there uh, will enjoy it, hearing about the basketball piece, but also maybe hearing some personal insights into me, things that uh, were key uh, uh, turning points in my life. 